Hey there, it's Ando. I'm going to teach you how to play Houston We Have a Dolphin today. And to do that, I will have to go back into the main menu. Okay. And, well, for you to know from the very start, this is a social deduction game. This means that not all of these astronauts that are going to be distributed among the teams are going to be good guys. But some of you are going to be devious dolphins and you have a different target for the game to win. So let's get started. We press play, we do a quick game today and now we scan the different team tokens of the different players. So this is me and it works like this roughly. I hold the card just above the camera and the same goes for my opponents or colleagues, we'll see. They also scan the cards and put them right in front of them. And then we can start with the recruitment of the astronauts. So every card will have to go through this phase to be distributed. And some of these cards, they will also land on these modules in the lower right corner. And this means these three cards here, they can be won throughout the game if you play well. But attention, there might also be a dolphin lurking behind these gates. So you might change teams after all. This was my first card. And many of these cards, they go to the void, which basically means we are not going to play with them today. So usually these cards would go into the hands of the players. But as I'm just simulating here, I will just put these cards face down to the sides. This is the hand of this player, and this is going to be the hand of the red player. Right. So we're almost done now. And in a full game, you would get more cards into the hands of the players. Not only three, but four, and less cards to the void. And also this is a three to five player game. This means we have enough cards to distribute among five players and not only three, as in this example. Okay, so this last card goes to Team Black Hole and this must go to the Vault. And we can start. This is our spaceship and it just broke down. And this is for a very reason. A dolphin sabotaged the ship by putting an anchovy into the floppy drive. Very devious indeed. So let's look into our hands. And this hand pretty much means that we're the bad guy. And in this very game, there's only one dolphin in the whole setup. So for us, the situation is quite clear already. Also at this part of the game, the captain comes out, like the captain reveals himself as the captain. It's the only public card to everyone else. And he's in the team of the red player. Here's the captain, Captain Igloo. And every other player gets one panic token. And these panic tokens in yellow, these can be used in the second phase of the game where the captain makes an order and we can, we can face him. The human players, they can win the game by resetting the spaceship. And in order to do this, they must detach three modules. Module M1, Module M2 and Module M3. And only when they detach enough modules, the captain will get the chance to finally reset the spaceship. So actually our task, remember that, is to stop them from doing that, because we're the dolphins. And we could do that by either killing everyone else first or by flooding the spaceship, which is also a captain's order. So how do you actually detach a module? Engineers are cards that have a wrench on, on their slot up there. When two of these cards work together on two different slots and there's a third slot with a hero in between, then this hero activates. By the way, this action can also be used to kill anyone else. But if there's exactly a hero in between, this is a hero activation. Yeah, let's look at the board. 
because the board is a circle. And on this board, <coughs> every slot is connected to every other slot. And in order to detach a module with a hero, you would need to take an engineer that is hitting to the right and put it on one slot. Now he's hitting here on slot D because this is the arrow direction. Then there would have to be a hero going here. And on the third slot, you would have to play someone like Julia hitting to the left, back to the hero. And now let's see what happens. The funny thing is, these cards are actually face down during the game. So this is all not too obvious. People might cheat on you and it. A module has been opened and this team is supposed to reveal their hero, which was us. So now we enter the module. And once you enter the module, you will be able to detach one of the modules and make a choice. You either take, you either take three panic and they come in very handy against a mean captain or you take this astronaut and add it to your team, to my team in this case. But in either way, even if I take the panic, which I will do, this guy goes to the void. So M3 is now detached. Oops. Obviously M1, you start with M1. Remember that. So the captain, he has to start this phase by asking people if they want to join in a spacewalk. So player red here will ask, does any one of you have a hero? And it's the beginning of the game and they want to gain their trust. So I will play at least for a while with them. So I say, captain, I do have a hero. So maybe you could call me. And he says, fine, yeah, go, go for your hero. And actually I do take my hero because I want to gain their trust. I want to seem like a good guy. And I place my hero on this first slot. You always start with this slot. So now our team would need someone to hit to the left. And maybe Team Black Hole here, he would say, yeah, of course, I can hit to the left. I have an engineer. By the way, he's, he's claiming that he has an engineer that looks a bit like this. Someone who points to the left. So I say, okay, fine, Team Black, go. And he takes one of his hand cards and holds it here and the astronaut goes into the spacewalk and he puts it on slot D. So he's asking, does anyone else have an engineer pointing to the right? So now I'm thinking, like, I could take that place and then it wouldn't open and that would be great for me. But also, I would be in two of the three slots and it wouldn't work and that wouldn't leave a good impression on me. So... I decide to be kind of honest and not speak up and I will just tell everyone guys I actually don't have that so maybe so the only option is that Team Horsehead Nebula does that. Team Horsehead Nebula claims okay I can do that but my only astronaut who is a right hitting engineer is actually my captain so I will have to play with this guy so he takes his captain it's the only card that we know of so he can put it face up and now the spacewalk starts and something happens. We don't know what yet, but it is revealed to everyone that one astronaut disappeared in the void, which means one astronaut was killed. And it was actually the captain. Uh, and this is pretty interesting. So he goes to the void, he's dead. So now we can think of what happened. So what we do know is that we did play a hero, if you remember. And a hero cannot attack. A hero will never kill anyone. He, he just doesn't have that ability. Um, so something else must have happened. And we could have a look on this board here to see the different options of what might have happened. So the first thing that could always happen is an asteroid, actually. So there was no 
other astronaut that was doing any harm. There was simply an asteroid, it was hitting slot C, and that's the reason for him to disappear. Then there's a second option that we'll go through, that we'll not go through now. But the third option is, it might have been engineers. Engineers, I told you how they unlock or like how they activate heroes, but they can do the same thing to kill someone. So if two engineers work together and hit someone from two sides, they can also kill anyone. Um, and as we know thus, that this guy here was killed and we played a hero, this cannot be the case. There was only one engineer maybe here. We don't know that, but we can assume that. So this was not, this is not probable either. And then there's a fourth option. It was a dolphin. So if we were not a dolphin, if the dolphin wasn't on our side of the team, then I would assume that this happened. But because I was the dolphin and it wasn't me, I can be quite sure that in this very case, this was an asteroid. This seems kind of lame, like it's a social deduction game, and I do know pretty much exactly what happened. But please take the perspective of the other players. Like they didn't know I play a hero, so they might as well assume that this person was killed by two astronauts. Or they might assume it was a dolphin, so it could have been me actually, or it could have been that other player, Team Black Hole. So both me, team, team Mint, and Team Black, we both seem kind of dangerous now and don't leave a good impression for, for the captain that died. Okay, so that was the first round and something spe special happened. The captain died and we take our cards back. And we have to log in a new captain. The new captain will always be one of the players with the highest number of cards. So in that case, that's either team me, uh, team team mint, which is me, or team black, which is him, because we both have three cards. But because it's a tie, the old captain can decide on who is it going to be. And for some reason, he has a he has a worse feeling about me. So he will just tell me that team black hole should be the new captain. So he will take one of his cards and scan them and trainer Judy. She is now our new captain. And we would finish the spacewalk um, by taking the cards back, which we did, just did. And every player that didn't participate in this would get a panic token. But in this very round, we all played. I played a card. Team Red played a card, Team Black played a card, so none of us get a panic token. And now we come into the second phase of the game. It's the captain's phase. And this was funny because even before the captain could do his very first thing, he died. Which is really r rare, actually. So let's talk about the captain, captain's options. The captain has three options to choose from. He could always sacrifice an astronaut. He could flood the spaceship, which would be pretty interesting for me because then I would win the game. And he can reset the spaceship, but not now. Why is that so? Because remember, we have that three modules here and we haven't detached them. He will most certainly decide to sacrifice an astronaut. He cannot do, any, he cannot do nothing, so he has to act on this. So he will press this button and now a voting takes place. And this captain here, he, he feels like he took something away from me. He, he became the captain and I, I wasn't. And for some reason, he feels like um, Team Red should be decimated. Team Red should lose someone. So he points the sacrifice option towards player Red. Um, so now me and player Red, because we are the two players that are not the captain. We are the crew, so to speak. Uh, we have to agree to that order or dis disobey. And how do we do that? I told you that we get these panic tokens early on in the game. So I take my panic token in one of my two hands, I put them under the table in order to shuffle them and decide whether I want to use my panic or not. If I use my panic and I get 
um, two or more panic altogether with all other crew members, then that means that the revolt was successful and the captain died. So we try that. I put my fist here and there's the, the other player, player red, he will also put his fist and we both reveal our hands. And yeah, we actually had two panic tokens all together. And so we can press here two or more panic. And that means that the captain couldn't go through his order. He was overthrown by us. And someone new will be the captain. So again, the captain died. This is a rough game. Usually it happens that a captain t stays in place for quite a while. Um, but in this very case, this captain was already overthrown and someone else will become the captain. And it's usually the person who played the most panic, but that was a tie. So in this case, it's the player with most cards, as you might remember. So that's me. So I can claim a new captain. And just because I don't want to reveal myself and I want... Uh, I want uh, you to, uh, to find, find it easy to follow this game. Uh, I will choose my hero as the new captain and scan him. So he, now Cook Mike is the captain. And remember that these two cards are still hidden for the other players and we go back into the spacewalk. Now we would try to open a module again. So let's see whether we can pull that off. So I will ask someone if he has a hero. And Team Red says, yeah, I do have a hero. And I ask, um, does anyone else have an engineer to hit to the right? Because we always need an engineer hitting to the right, an engineer hitting to the left. And we need that hero. So Team Black Hole says, yeah, I, I have an engineer pointing into both directions. So I say, okay, you start. So Team Black Hole starts and he puts his double engineer, if, if he's speaking the truth here, and he's calling out the hero, because that was our plan. So Team Black Hole now calls Team Red. You had a hero, right? And he says, yes. Okay, play it. So he plays the hero. And now I'm saying, you know, I have this engineer hitting to the left. You can take me. And that's actually cool for player Red, because... Um, if he wouldn't choose me, I would get the panic token at the end of this round. But if he chooses me, everyone played. No one gets a panic token. He likes that. And also he might believe me. So I am playing my Julia. And she's hidden to, like, remember, we have Julia here. But it's hidden to everyone else. So what happened now is that a card of Team Horse at Nebula died. And we can go back to this chart. See, this, this guy here with the red pointing arrow, he died. And we can go back to this chart to make an assumption of what might have happened. It might have been an asteroid. It might have been two engineers. Or it might have been a dolphin. Because we have the dolphin here, it cannot be a dolphin. The dolphin is not in play. But we played our Julia here. Just for you to remember, we played Julia, and she was actually hitting slot B. So it's super likely that the other player, the first player here, I think it was Team Black Hole, he spoke the truth, he actually hit to this slot, but Team Black Hole didn't play a hero. Because if he played a hero, now we would have gotten a response like a hero was activated, a hero could detach a module, but that didn't happen. It was just someone plain dying. So this action was possibly triggered and uh, someone died. The other option is that it was an asteroid and it might have been a hero indeed. We don't know that. Yeah. Interesting facts. They might wonder what happened. For us, it's pretty clear that we are the bad guys. They tried their best. And they take their cards back. This was mine, Julia. This card goes back to Team Black Hole. And we go back into the... No one gets a panic token. We go back into the captain's face. 
and now I have a great chance to win the game because we were very very unsuccessful in this game with the modules usually one or two of them are activated but this didn't happen so now we were running out of panic tokens because once you detach a module you get panic tokens you get more power but it didn't happen so actually the only panic token left in the game is the panic token of team black hole so this is my chance to flood the spaceship because i'm the evil guy i want to win this game and they the two players they would put their fists in the middle and team black hole would possibly play his panic token hoping that some panic token might appear from nowhere but it didn't happen this was the only panic token it is also spent it was less than two panic tokens so we press less than two and the spaceship is flooded and the game is won for me of course this game was not very representative because i didn't even know what they played so they were playing super dumb but i just wanted to show you how to make assumptions from this board and how to play as a dolphin.